Hey everyone, Matt's Mox here, and you might be wondering, hey, where's Matt's Mox? Well, it's because today we're looking at an another locomotive. So as you can see, I have arrived on said locomotive. This is a Queensland Railway 2100 class, uh, made by Weski Models of Queensland, and I actually got this engine at a pretty good discount. I did get another one, not as cheap though, but yeah, we'll get into that. So I will say it is DC. Uh, normally this is like a 295 Australian dollar locomotive. I got it for uh, Canadian 150 CAD. So yeah, pretty stoked about that. That's pretty cheap. So get out of the way and I'll give you a little history about this uh, engine sort of like what uh, Mr. Trains of the Sam does uh, give you a full 360 rotation and then show you it in action so my camera fell over the 2100 class consisted of 23 locomotives built in 1970 to 1973 by Clyde Engineering which is of course EMD. They're 42 inch gauge locomotives. Uh, there's still like one running. About most of them have been exported. As you can see, it's got this unique EMD back. I'll do a more close up soon. And uh, yeah, they ran on Queensland Railways. And uh, ironically, one of them, or multiple of them, ended up down in Chile where they operate alongside Newfoundland Railway. 210s and 220s, you know, my favorite locomotives. And of course, Wusky produced it in both the early scheme from the 80s and then the later scheme into the early 2000s. Most were withdrawn around 2000 to 2001. You can just see it's, it's such a pretty locomotive. It's got so many nice features. It looks good too. Now, they do come with the buffers separately fitted because uh, buffers were very short term used on Queensland Railway starting like in the later years. So for only a short period of time, they wore buffers, which, you know, it does make it unique because you could run an earlier period of time or, of course, a more modern period of time. Even though there was 23 of them, obviously they would have wore the scheme a lot longer than you would expect. And yeah, it's a very nice looking locomotive. It's got plenty of roof detail and relatively nice on the underside. And it cannot be narrowed to free foot gauge, unfortunately. So if you're looking to use this as a free foot gauge chassis, hate to break it to you, it just won't work. So, let me show you it on the track and show you its features. We do it by literally just putting it on the track. Its sandboxes really do help with lining it up on the rails. We move that out of the way, pull our track forward. Unfortunately, it does have a minimum curve radius of 18. And with the buffers, it's technically rated for a minimum curve of 26. So... Let's see. As you can see, it does have working headlights. And that's on both sides. Working marker lights and working uh, number board lights. Let's bring it forward. And if you notice, when it's going in reverse, only the marker board lights activate. It sounds really good. It just runs. So, put our camera down. We're going to pick up a single car. This is one of my conversions. It uses an HP set of HP trucks. That's an Afrin car. Of course, I modeled the Newfoundland Railway. There we go. We hitched up. And as you can see, even with the heavily modified Canadian National Box car here, it's still so much taller than these things. Like, they are really short locomotives 
especially when they put them next to the Newfoundland ones, which, I mean, I could even show you here. My Newfoundland 210 is scale, mind you. Uh, it's not perfect. It's definitely a lot lower riding, but it is scale. And you just look at the two side by side, you start to really see just how massive the 210 is compared to the Queensland Railway's 21 class. Which did I mention have EMD 645s? I didn't. So as you can see, it's a nice performer. For an engine with a top speed of 50 miles an hour United States, or uh, Freedom measurements, I mean, it, it basically goes a lot faster than that. But, you know, you can't go much farther when you're on such a short stretch. So yeah, that's the Queensland Railways. 2100 class. Now you know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.